This is Aud USD and today it's Thursday, 4th of September 2014 and the time is 17.41 GMT. We are looking at the 15 minutes time frame of the pair and this is a trade setup study uh, and I'm using, I'm Sofia Stavropoulou and I'm using Ichimoku Kinko Hio Bollinger Bands, Fractals and Stochastics and you'll see that here I have uh, also drawn Fibonacci uh, retracement I have used Fibonacci retracement tool and I have drawn the, the ratios of Fibonacci levels and what we see here okay so first we had this strong upward move Assuming that we lost this move, as Munehi Sahoma, the biggest trader of all times, uh, had said, uh, when you see a strong move and you have missed it, stay aside and wait to position yourself for big profits when the price reverses. That happened here when we got an early entry short entry signal here from stochastics crossover we had a bearish stochastics crossover at the point where you see I have placed this vertical line here and this uh, shape this rectangular shape here the moment the price made this downward move uh, we assumed that it would keep falling but it didn't keep falling right away it made this upward move this spike up here and then started really falling so if you are conservative uh, personally I'm aggressive but you can be conservative so if you are conservative trader which is really good you need to trade with confluence confluence means multiple confirmations getting multiple confirmations from many tools so if you were waiting for confluence then having an up fractal a valid up fractal on the upper Bollinger Band and a bearish crossover uh, of the stochastics may not be might not be enough for you and you might wait for a bearish price and consent cross using um, Ichimoku and I am going to insert a shape here for you to see the big bearish body candlestick here I'm going to, to change uh, the color to make it more um, bearish <laughs> so let's pick this pale violet red nice so if you were waiting for confluence then you would have a bearish crossover of stochastics and up a valid two valid up fractals on the upper Bollinger band and a bearish price and consent cross you could have entered here with multiple confirmations therefore with confluence and go for a nice downward move and exit when you have a bullish crossover of stochastics which is a, a, an early signal and seeing that the price has practically approached the lower Bollinger Band uh, uh, you may not risk it waiting to go lower and touch it uh, because if uh, it was more aggressive um, bearish then you might wait and see that but since it made it gave us this bullish crossover of stochastics uh, it could be wise to exit so we took this nice trade and let's estimate the number of pips we entered at 0 0.9375 it exited 
0.9353 so uh, it's a nice 20 uh, 20 something 20 net pips profit pretty nice pretty nice profit so now you can let me uh, remove this why did I draw Fibonacci uh, you can place Fibonacci with the zero here and 100 up here or the opposite zero up here 100 here it doesn't matter the ratios remain the same so usually we have downward corrective moves or upward corrective moves around 50 or 61.8 Fibonacci level and since 61.8 is a very serious uh, uh, in this case a very serious uh, support level this is one of the confirmations that add to the confluence we are looking for in order to take a long trade and buy here so in order to buy here we have one two valid fractals on the lower Bollinger band we have bullish crossover of the stochastics and stochastics have crossed above 20 level line we have price moving at the 61.8 Fibonacci ratio so odds are it will go at least up to the median Bollinger Band before reversing and falling lower or it may even cross above it and continue going upwards we don't know that but we know that the price will seek statistical validation going up to the median Bollinger Band from here so if we want to enter uh, and take a, a long trade now a buy we can enter now here and uh, place our take profit target just a couple of pips below the median Bollinger Band our stop loss we can place it a few pips below the lower Bollinger Band or a few pips below the horizontal Kumo here when we entered short up here either uh, uh, when uh, the bearish crossover of stochastics happened or up here when we had the bearish price and Kassan cross we should have placed our stop loss a few pips above the highest up fractal here or even above the uh, uh, upper Bollinger Band and our take profit target would be a, a short term take profit target at the medium Bollinger Band and a medium term take profit target close to the uh, lower Bollinger Band but because we are monitoring this trade and it's a, a small time frame uh, that means that we we are here watching it monitoring it then using the stochastics crossover is a good guide and you can't possibly know where this exactly is going to happen okay so uh, I assume that placing your stop loss a few uh, pips above the lower Bollinger Band would not be um, wrong because price may make a plunge now down to the lower Bollinger Band or uh, go up to the medium Bollinger ba Band return and make a plunge down to the lower Bollinger Band before reversing and resuming its uptrend everything is possible and that's why if we enter now long if we buy we should place our stop loss uh, even better to place it before below the um, the horizontal Kumo of course if we enter long and if we see that the move is going aggressively down it is good to be flexible with our stop loss we see that the main trend is upward so it may take some deep fluctuations before the pair resumes and goes and pushes must hi much higher uh, but th the logic the logic behind our trade is that Bollinger Bands are giving us the range within which the price moves for now medium Bollinger Band is the uh, the level of uh, equilibrium and Kumo is also a level of equilibrium so 
uh, here the this horizontal kumo below the price uh, stands for a very nice level of support a very nice support zone the leading kumo shows that being horizontal and with the vertical line the distance between the upper border and the lower border getting smaller shows that the bullish momentum is decreasing but nevertheless since the price is moving above the kumo uh, biases are bullish and we use fractals to to see which are the points where the price the turning points uh, of the price action especially when we see valid fractals on the upper bolger band or the lower bolger band and uh, we use stochastics to guide us through uh, the the moves through the moves of of the price uh, thanks for watching uh, happy pips and I will get back to you with uh, a video for the next moves of this of the price action here to see how the trade uh, evolved.